Welcome to Tender Heart. My first Tinder date, cheating wife. I glanced at my phone and found a notification from one dating app I downloaded just yesterday. Renee, you got a match. It read. I clicked it open and found a photo of a Middle Eastern looking guy in his 30s. I sighed as I realized how hot he looked topless. Well, I've been in this sexless, boring marriage life routine of office and household chores. And I needed some excitement in my life. I once complained to my best friend, Angie, how my husband lost his appetite for sex. No, I don't think he's cheating. He just couldn't. Couldn't what? Can't get his thing hard again? Angie guffawed. But you're only in your 40s? Angie's the only person I could trust, so I felt secure confiding with her. And when Robert could get it hard, he couldn't perform it well. As if he forgot how to have sex. She snapped her forehead. Has he always been like that? I nodded. It wasn't that bad before. Now, it's unbearable. You know how much I love sex, and now, I feel dry. I need some new inspiration. It's true. Luckily, I got this bathtub at home where I'd masturbate myself, the only way to feel relieved. Geez, what's wrong with him? Angie held my hand. I'm so sorry. You don't deserve this. You. If only he's not rich, I would have filed for divorce a long time ago. We both sniggered. Why don't you download Tinder where you can find someone to have casual sex with? I stared at my best friend with a serious face. I must admit, that's a good idea. But do you think someone would still want this body? I studied myself in the cafe's window. This marriage gained me unwanted weight and unhealthy skin. I barely could look at myself anymore. Not sure, darling, but we're going to the salon after this, all right? Now, here we are. After weeks of trying, I finally got a match. And what more? From this human being with dark eyes, thick brows, and well-shaved mustache. How could he be interested in me? His name's Rome, and his profile reads. A romantic you can taste. I gathered my remaining dignity and sent the first message. Hey, are you free tonight? I once read a blog in casual dating where it stated that the more straightforward you are, the better. Since my conversation with Angie, I went to the salon and hit the gym almost every day now, so yeah, I've never been confident my whole life. After waiting for 5 minutes, he responded, Hi, love. I'm free tonight. I was sitting in the office having my lunch break. Luckily, I chose to wear that pink, lacy lingerie today. How about meeting at Belleville Station? We can have a pint or two, he suggested. Good idea. Can't wait to meet you. Me too. Can't wait. He added a drooly face. I hope he's referring to both the alcohol and me. I went to the office toilet to check myself out. It's only 2 p.m. And we decided to meet after work. My heart was filled with so much excitement. Finally. Suddenly, my phone rang. It was Robert. There was no desire to answer it, but he's my husband, after all, the father of my spoiled children. Yes, dear. Uh huh. So much work in the office and I can't get home to cook dinner. Can you order takeaways instead? Awesome. Love you. Bye. Robert's a sweet guy, but I craved for something more. We stopped sleeping on the same bed for years now. We'd go on trips, shopping, have good conversations, anything else I could wish for. If only he could satisfy me in bed too, I wouldn't be looking for someone else for sex. Five minutes before going out of the office that evening, I reapplied my makeup and made sure my hair's in place. I unbuttoned the top two buttons of my shirt to show a bit of cleavage. An unexplained thrill filled my being as I took the train to Belleville Station. Finally, a real man who'd take me in his arms. Rome was already standing by the terminal when I arrived. He smelled nice, and his smile made my heart melt. Shall we? He held my hand as we walked the streets filled with restaurants and bars. We chose a quiet place by the corner, and we chatted the hour away while we drank. So, what do you do? He asked in his deep voice. He drew nearer to my hair and whispered. How could you look so sexy? 
I giggled like a teenager. My underwear already felt wet. Rome was everything Robert wasn't. That night, he took me to his apartment, and for the first time in years, I felt a man's warmth against my body. We kissed passionately, and I let myself drown in his heat. This. This was what I was looking for. I realized how I starved myself from something so good. Orgies? Oh, I had too many without any plans to stop. When Rome and I parted, it was almost midnight. I took a taxi back home where I found Robert sitting on the sofa. He was watching his regular football games while drinking his rum. Hi love, he greeted. There's still takeaway curry on the table. I blew him a kiss. Thanks, dear, but I'm exhausted. Perhaps, I'll go to bed. Then I got into the bathroom and started messaging Rome for our next Tinder date.